hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel again thank you for watching my videos and uh, getting solution and uh, getting information through my videos and thank you for supporting me thank you for watching my videos and uh, after a long time again i'm coming with my video it means uh, it means uh, i came with my new QBasic programming video and uh, this program will also be good for you and uh, it is also uh, related to the QBasic uh, string i mean word and uh, letters related programming so if you are waiting for that then this be, uh, this video is for you so the program uh, or the question of this uh, today's video program is i'm going to write uh, i'm going to write here so question is look like this uh, write a program to okay sorry before that i need to use a theme write a program to input uh, any or write any sentence better to uh, better to write is write a program to write any sentence it means sentence i am going to write a qbasic programming regarding to the sentence in this video sentence okay so write a program to write any sentence and count total word words in the sentence it means uh, i think uh, you are understanding that in this today's video i am going to just uh, uh, write a program to count the word used in the sentence it means uh, if uh, i am using any kind of word like uh, um, thank you there is two word and like uh, thanks there is one word so uh, that kind of counting i am going to write here so program is going to start like this so uh, at the first i'm going to write cls and then end the basically we need to remember that these these uh, main keywords should be written every time uh, before starting the program and after ending the program so uh, i would like to write both of them for at the first and then inside them i would like to write uh, quotes regarding to the program so now i'm going to take a sentence from the user because they write a program to write any sentence then I'm not uh, 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 making a constant so that's why I'm going to take a data from user I think uh, I mean uh, sentence from user so enter, enter any sentence any sentence I'm asking to the user uh, to enter any sentence and then uh, I'm storing that inside the in, uh, in the sentence variable variable and it is a string variable after that what i am going to do is counting uh, i am going to count uh, i am going to count the total character in the sentence so c equals to len sentence string then what will happen that len function in the qbasic program will count the total characters used in the uh, uh, sentence it means len is uh, used to count the length of the sentence and then I'm going to make uh, some changes and then if c greater than zero means uh, we have some sentence c greater than zero then word equals to one okay and in if because we have started our program using the if condition so that's why we need to close them uh, similarly to the if if uh, we are using if then statement then we need to use in if after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to check the space basically what will happen mm, uh, this is space space means uh, uh, in the practical life we use a uh, space between the two words like uh, uh, if we are ending the one word and then if we are starting next or new word then inside uh, between them we are between them we use space to write the next word so that's why uh, basically simple logic we need to use a uh, space so i'm using one space to check it so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to check each and every character where it may be the space so i need to check them and uh, to check them i need to separate all the characters in the sentence so what uh, what is the main programming logic is here uh, to character uh, to separate all the characters we need to use mid string function so that we can uh, separate all the characters but to uh, to separate every character we need to uh, 
make a loop or iterate or uh, we need to start from the one character to total character of the sentence so that's why we need to check every and every time until that uh, counting or on, until that uh, last character is separated and checked so that's why i need to use for loop uh, maybe you can use other loop uh, like while loop do loop i will uh, basically uh, recommend this for loop uh, you in the programming so for i equals to one to len one to len sentence string because why i am using sentence here is we are going to uh, make a loop for this uh, multiple times to the sentence and then i am using next i after that what i am going to do is here inside the for next i am going to separate each and every characters in the sentence and i am storing that inside the in the letter string and letter equals to mid string and uh, what i'm going to do is i know if you are if you already watched my video regarding to the left string mid string and right string then you uh, you may know that uh, what is the uh, parameter used in the mid string function first it takes the data and data uh, is uh, sentence string sentence sentence string and then second is uh, um, from which character we need to start of the sentence means every time we do not start from the one first character so every time the character will be starting from the uh, remaining character so remaining character is counting uh, counted by i uh, i i because why i is using here i is loop and loop will count the every step with the every character uh, every remaining character from there so i am using i and um, already i told uh, about uh, one each and every character i'm going to separate so that's why i need to you take only one character from the i and then after that what i'm going to do is now here the main logic is starting here starting here if letter letter string equals to space it means if we do have a space in uh, in the sentence then it is the word is separating by them so that just basic logic uh, totally it does not count the uh, accurate uh, words used in the pro uh, used in the sentence but basically in the uh, basic level we can use this uh, use this logic to count the sentence uh, sorry count the word and then letter string equals to space one space if appears or uh, found there then what will what we will do word equals to sorry word equals to word plus one means already we have if we have uh, one character then uh, we are going to count uh, word with the word value with the every time one character if it found so after that we need to use in if because we have started with if and also i i would like to make some changes word equals to zero means in the starting initially the value of uh, Word will be zero and then if c is greater than zero then what will happen it means we do have a sentence or word there then the character of the total character of the word will be one here and then each and every time if the space found and the next level step found then we use uh, adding the total value of the word with the new uh, uh, new value like a plus one means every time we uh, add by plus that all the counting i am not printing inside the for next because i only need the output at the end so after that print print and then i am using a string here total, total words not words words found in the sentence sentence is now what is the answer or output so after that what will happen if nothing found there then the word uh, in the sentence there will be the value is zero and if uh, something found there then every time it will be uh, updated by plus one so now i'm going to check a uh, check this program okay now this is the Output running in the uh, running on the screen. Yeah, you can see on your screen here, 
and enter any sentence. Suppose I would like to add thank you. Okay, I have uh, entered here thank you. Yeah, we know that here is a two word. Then it should also display uh, here only two character. Okay, so you can see here total word found in the sentence is two. And also it is uh, exactly that is a uh, no, thank and you is uh, uh, you are counting if uh, if we count them then the two ca two word uh, will be counted and also the program is also counting two word okay so like this uh, you can count you can uh, display the total words used in the sentence or found in the sentence and after that the output will be good let's say so basically what i would like to tell is uh, while we have uh, only one space then we are checking here but not always uh, it will be uh, two condition sometime without uh, if one space has been has given and then after that uh, if there is no any kinds of character is written then that time this condi this condition will be not not, uh, not uh, suitable for it so only i am just uh, making the logic for uh, that uh, kinds of sentence uh, where it, uh, the space uh, will be started before the next word and then that will count the total words you use in the qbc program like this you can write the program and uh, i think this program will be also uh, helpful program for you and uh, if you have any question i am always always uh, asking about you uh, i am requesting uh, with you if you have any question regarding to the qbasic uh, then you can ask me the question and if uh, i got a solution then i'll do for you and i'll uh, uh, record a video for you and then i'll upload for uh, upload and not only you but uh, other people other uh, learner who want to learn the qbasic programming then, then definitely it will be helpful for those people okay thank you so much for watching my video and i'll come with my new q basic programming video soon and uh, keep enjoy keep watching my q basic programming video and uh, uh, support me and also follow my videos and uh, also just subscribe my channel also because if you if you subs uh, subscribe my channel then while i upload my video then you'll uh, see the you know, uh, suggestion video in front of the youtube top screen so that's why i would like to request you that also okay thank you so much for watching my video and come with my next uh, qbasic programming